viewers and subscribers what a guan a blessed and wonderful saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media now my peeps i don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning we have to give thanks and praise to the most high creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest so in the morning my peeps I have a few stories for share with you the regular members of chan public and also members of the diaspora so please like the video share the video watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a jamaica so watch this now my peeps uh, to the name uh, sat the day when uh, some of the regular ones and ones them out there traverse the church so happy sabbath to you all so please remember on the spot news media as loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers you definitely see how jamaica run right and also you know for sure so we need that to know what more than ever and to all of the regular ones and ones them out there traversing the streets whether you're going to the market district you don't know if you get a little onion skillin and time for deal with your pepper pot soup later or you don't know if you just fix up the red rice and roast that tomorrow whatsoever it may be whilst traversing these streets see if travel pan the gravel and continuously look out on a corner yai kazwa the old dirty corner boy them always out there alerts yeah man me i tell you so you don't know from your year the anthem just before the andy spot news media intro the old dirty kind of boy your day is coming another one a day finally come and officer yeman pick and team was out in all their glory now the criminal element on your screen has since been identified as Franklin Augusta Roden, otherwise known as Little Junior, a known Nakis and Clappis over there in the Kingston Eastern Police Division. A Nakis and Clappis that had wreaked havoc all over that police division for years. 
In fact, Little Junior is not just a menace in the Rockford community, but also in the wider Jamaica on a whole, as he is also a known and reputed contract knackies and clappies. Even a few knackies and clappings were going over there in the Westmoreland Police Division, we can safely attribute some of them to that of Little Junior. Yeah, man, may I tell you, the man I deal with the thing grimy. Now, you know from when the youth there definitely turn a sore thumb into Eastern Kingston is when he played an instrumental part in the knockings and clappings of this youth here presently on your screen known as Lando. We get clap with sometime in April of 2017. Then of course, him clap with him own cousin, this brother here present on your screen, known as Dwayne Barrett, otherwise known as Nooks in the streets, or Nooksman. Yeah, man, may I tell you, him clap with Nooksman, Bilias, sometime in 2020. And thereafter, Little Junior went rogue. Now, according to the police, he has a criminal accomplice presently on your screen known as Andrew Pang. But Andrew Pang's real name is known as Andrew Facey. He's presently on your screen. Pictures of him behind bars. I don't know how the criminal element them do it. They make it seem like behind bars is some sort of trophy. But I say this to you, the younger ones looking on and who aspire to be like these criminal elements. This is most definitely not a life that you would want to live. Look on him and tell me if he looks happy. Him just a portray darkness to put that out there in John public eyes to make it seem as if him bad. Right now, him wish him did in the streets a walk up and down and a enjoy sweet freedom. Now, information reaching on the Spot News Media is that the Eastern Kingston Police, in the company of Officer Yeoman Pick and his team, went to an address of Windward Road in the Kingston 2 area. Now, the information stated that the police carried out a raid in that particular area and upon approaching a particular house said to be occupied by the now deceased man little junior a barrage of can start beat from the police them now officer yeoman pick sprang into action as the well-trained police officer that he is who went to the agriculture school of course over there in the parish of portland where he learned to plant can in a dirty boy to muck. So Officer Yeoman Pick did what he was trained to do, to point and fire at center mass, meaning the center part of the body, the upper torso, the chest area, and plant some can in a dirty boy to muck. Pretty much like a sheep boy turn yellow yam. Yeah, man, may I tell you, dirt settings was the order of the day and when the smoke clear and the battle was won little junior was seen on the veranda spread out no longer among the land of the living clutching a taros 9mm pistol a black and gold taros 9mm pistol with two remaining live 9mm rounds in the magazine safely fitted to that firearm he was, however, rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital. Not in a bit for save him life, but just for formally pronounce him. You know what? Yeah, man. So another decent spot of work again by the squad of them. Now we have an update for Guna, my peeps, about the missing Jamaican man over there in St. Martin 
who have been missing since January 7th, 2024. The man on your screen has since been identified as Jareth Dave Thomas, who have been missing in the island of St. Martin. Now, the police has closed that case as it relates to the missing person part of it. They found him lifeless in bushes. Yeah, man. Now, I have a video footage for you to show you where and when all of that took place. This is uh, Oslo Drive. That is the road that connects you from when you're coming on on Dutch Quarter Main Road before you reach to, down to um, the gas station. There is a dirt road on your left. That's Oslo Road. Uh, we can see forensic police detective at a crime scene. Uh, is, uh, uh, there is a possibility that uh, a missing person. Yeah. There is a possibility that they have found a, a lifeless body in the bushes there on Oslo Drive. Okay. Allegedly, it can be the missing man. The missing and then the right behind a pickup. I'll see them. You can see the forensic team busy taking some. They have the road um, close. Bear with me for the signal people because uh, um, I have a lot of problems with the signal from TLM. Okay. Um, but as I say, if you just tune in, we are live in Dutch Quarter on Oslo, Oslo Drive. Um, there is a crime scene here. You can see the detective, the police. They have the, a section of the road um, close up. Um, this is the road that leads you to the old cockpit. If the people who know Dutch Quarter area good. Okay, information reaching 721 News uh, stating that possibility a body, a lifeless body was found. And it can lead the possibility that is the missing person that been missing for about a week. Okay. Summer peeps, uh, Jareth Dave Thomas, uh, said to be uh, 51 years old. He was residing at the Richards Drive 5, that's in the middle region of St. Martin, when he went missing on January 7th, 2024. Now, information reaching on the Spot News Media is that him coming out of the country and get himself caught up at age 51. Probably him did mix up before that, we don't know for sure, but him get himself caught up in a, some drug runnings and some gun runnings. And the man them nyam him food and broke the plate and dump him body in the wooded area that you saw on that video footage of the person showing you the crime scene where the police retrieved his lifeless body. So may I tell you my peeps out there, badness definitely no pay. Leave that lifestyle alone because all you do when you go pick up dirty lifestyle you just dig yourself a early grave. Yeah, man. And still with some international news, two Jamaicans have been detained in the Cayman Islands after they arrived in the country by boat. The men reportedly arrived on the south shore of Grand Cayman on Thursday morning. The Cayman police reported that the vessel was recovered along the shoreline in breakers. Now, the police stated that partner agencies, including Custom and Border Control, are investigating the matter. Boy, anyway, we Jamaicans go. We always go there. Go mash up the people them good, good place. And make the people them start hate we. Yeah, I tell you. It's like a Jamaicans alone are really to love Jamaicans. Some of us, we never to love ourselves. Only if we knew how the entire world love us and appreciate the contribution that we have given 
unto this world far and wide from corner to corner we would have just simmer and appreciate what we have sitting on in jamaica and stop tear it down and mash it up poor me i tell my peeps the thing rough now back on a local style just a few days ago we had talked about probably about a week or so ago Police them slap with the old dirty corner boy from off a rat bat ends over there in two miles along a crescent road. So depending upon where you take it from, whether Waltham or Spanish Town Road, Crescent Road run from Spanish Town Road to Waltham Park Road. So right there so at the infamous rat bat gang ends. Here yeah, man and the police them roll in and have to name the boy a food and broke the plate. Some of them are so-called knackies and clappies here, you know. Them have some rather interesting alias. His birth name, he has since been identified as a Johnny McLeish. But he is popularly known in the streets as goods or gooders. I don't know what kind of name that for your knackies and clappies. The knackies and clappies, them are more shaky from what they are. Now, it is said that he was along Crescent Road upon the rat bat ends, upon the base. Yeah, man. And uh, the police, them, roll up upon the base. And the boy rock and pop off. And squad off and knock it and clap it upon him. Yeah, man. Slap him with quick and fast in a place known as the vineyard on Crescent Road. Name him food, broke the plate and send boy go a bad man market and just know, say, yo... I saw the thing set in the streets. So another one bites the dust. Another decent spot of work again by the squad of them. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.